Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to discuss about structures in C language, the importance of structures and how they are useful in embedded applications. Let's get started. So basically structure is a data structure used to create user defined data type in C language. So structure creates a data type that can be used to group items of possibly different types into a single type that is most often this structure is used as a particular data type which constitutes of elements of various data types like char int float etc so it can be a combination of elements of various data type but possibly useful for a single application so let's see how you can declare and define a structure and then we will try to understand the applications of structure. So there are numerous methods for creating or declaring and defining a structure. So we will see one by one. Let's see the type one of defining and declaring a structure. So in type one, the syntax goes like this. We just want to provide the struct keyword followed by we just want to provide the structure name and following the structure name we just want to provide the flower braces and after the flower braces you just want to terminate the sequence so you can clearly see this embedded systems right over here is a structure name so this is a user defined name you can give whatever name here you want for your structure and inside the braces you can add as many as elements required for the structure of various data types that is you can add various variables required for your structure so let's take an example that i'm just building a structure of embedded systems so often embedded systems have hardware and software so I am adding two elements to this structure called embedded systems. One is the hardware which is of type char and another one is software which is of type int. So before using the structure in my program, I just want to create respective variables for storing the values. So in this type one, you can declare and define variables for the structure created. So that goes like this. Struct embedded system space. You can provide the variable name. Let me just provide it to be ES1. So here in this line number 10, you can clearly see this ES1 is a variable of the structure embedded system. So this ES1 will be holding two values. One is the hardware of the type char and another one is the software of the type int. So you can provide two different values for this ES1 variable which is of type embedded system. So this embedded system right over here is a user defined data type or structure and for this structure you can create as much as variables and you can store as much as values as per your application that is you can go like this es1 es2 es3 etc and for each of the variables you will be having two different uh, parameters or values or attributes that is one is the hardware of the type char and another one is the software of the type int so let me just show you how you can access the structure elements and load them with the different values and how you can retrieve back the value from the structure elements. So this is a normal variable, right? So let me just show how you can write values to ES1 variable. So you cannot access and write like ES1 is equal to 1 like this because this ES1 is a variable of the structure embedded system. So often this ES1 will be holding only two different parameters or attributes. One is the hardware and another one is the software. So you can directly write to ES1 of hardware and ES1 of software like this. You can see ES1 dot 
hardware is equal to 1 is 1 dot software is equal to 2 so for this particular variable es1 the hardware value is 1 and software value is 2 so in a similar manner you can write to es2 and es3 respectively so this is how you can write values to the structure in the same manner you can retrieve back the value using es1 dot hardware and es1 dot software the method is same because this is a normal variable you can access this with the help of an operator called dot operator so the variable name dot the element name will be helpful for writing to the structure element as well as for reading from the structure element so this is how you can access write and read from the structure element by declaring and defining respective variables for a structure in this type 1 so let me just show you how you can print this yes one hardware percentage t yes one dot hardware So let me just compile this. I'm just going to simulate the program. I'm going to the debug view. You can see ES1 hardware is 1, ES1 software is 2. So this is how you can write to a structure elements and also this is how you can retrieve back the value from the structure elements using dot operator by declaring various variables for the structure. So this is type 1 of declaring structure and the type 2 goes like this. Let me just copy this. In type 2, you can just neglect the name provider for the structure. Instead, you can declare and define the variables right over here es1 comma es2 comma es3 you can remove this declaration and definition of structure variables and you can clearly see the program is not having any errors because we are having a structure without a name but with two attributes or elements one is the hardware and one is the software and we are having various variables like es1 es2 es3 etc so this can be followed in this method also here also in this type 1 you can do like this es1 es2 es3 etc but here in this type 2 you are only neglecting the name provider for the structure because we don't need that if you if in case you don't need to declare and define any other variables for the structure anymore you can decide to go for this type of structure without a name so this structure will be available with a certain number of variables and you can declare and define as much as variables right over here after the structure that's it this is type 2 of declaring and defining a structure and the type 3 is using type def in structure so we know that type def in c language is a particular way of renaming a particular data type in c language right so in the same way as we are renaming a particular data type we can also rename a particular structure that is this is a structure let me just remove this this is a structure what you can do is before the structure definition you can write type def space structure of the structure elements followed by the structure name 
so now whenever you want to declare and define variables for the structure you can use only this structure name embedded systems followed by the variable name so you can clearly see this is type 3 which uses type diff for defining structure so this is the most convenient method for declaring and defining a structure because you no need to use struct keyword anymore and also in the type 2 it is very very difficult for finding a particular structure if there is many more structures in your program like this it is difficult for identifying one particular structure in your program but if you take the type 3 you can clearly see we are just renaming this structure with the name of embedded systems right over here so you can provide whatever name here you want so once you are done with the declaration and definition of type def structure then you can use the name provider for this structure for declaring and defining variables as much as you want like this so you can clearly see embedded system of es1 es2 so you can write like es1 dot hardware for writing to this es1 variable and es1 dot software is equal to two for writing to the software element of the es1 variable and also you can retrieve back the value with the same dot operator so dot operator plays an important role in accessing the structure elements if you are declaring and defining a normal variable for your structure you can also declare arrays as structure variables you can clearly see if you declare like this es1 of 1 in the same way you can access the elements like es1.0 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 only difference is previously it was normal variable so we accessed without this element id that is the index of the array but here it is an array so we are using the index number for the structure element when i compile this and when i run this I'm just opening the watch window and pulling the variable. You can see ES1 is an array of index 0. It is having only one element. The number of elements is 1. So it is having only 0th element. And 0th element it is having 1 as the hardware value and 2 as the software value. So each element, if it is having Two right over here it will be having like yes one of zero one etc so each element will be holding hardware and software separately because each of the structure variables will be holding all the elements of the structure right over here so this is the speciality of structure so for providing various attributes for a particular variable or for creating a user defined data type with various data type elements like carry int float double long etc you can create your own structure in your program of any one of the type defined but the most efficient type is the type def structure right over here that is the type 3 because you can neglect the name of the structure as we done in the type 1 and also you can neglect the usage and declaration of variables at the point of structure declarations whenever you require as we done in type 2 so these are the two drawbacks of type 1 and type 2 but it can be neglected in type 3 that is in type 1 you can see whenever you want to declare and define a structure you just want to provide these two keywords struct of structure name followed by the variable names but in type 2 the drawback is like whenever you want to declare a new variable to the structure you just want to find the structure go to the place where you have def defined and declared the structure and then you want to provide the names of the variable right over here at the end of the structure but these two are sorted out in the type 3 you can clearly see when you use type def before the structure you can just use the 
structure name followed by the variable name wherever you want for declaring and defining variables required for that structure like this i hope you understood what are structures how they are useful for creating user defined data types in c language and what are the different ways of declaring and defining a structure in c language see you in the next video thanks for watching